Yeah, hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Okay, you're a new player. You've already rolled out against some things called bots. Not that you were aware they were bots. You have done pretty well up to now, but now you're facing the grind. Playing in tanks you've never heard of. And, most likely, you're playing against players who actually know what they're doing, unlike the bots. So what's it all about? Why has it suddenly got harder? Why do your tactics that you used to great effect previously no longer work? Well, the thing is, bots don't really fight back, for one. Not really. And secondly, the humans you're facing may not be what you think they are. Most of your human enemies, once you get past the bots, are what are called re-rollers. Re-rollers are players who have been playing the game for quite some time, but for whatever reason they were unable to get either their average damage or their win rates up to a position whereby they could get themselves into a professional tournament esports clan. So they start again in order to get those stats. Rerolls are not new players. New players are, most of the time, clueless. Not because they're not skilled, but because they have no real understanding of the game. Because they're new, which is why they're plodding their way through the low tiers, going around in circles, rushing here or camping there. And we give them a hard time for it. Rerolls, on the other hand, bring all the knowledge and experience gained from their main accounts and have a significant advantage over the real new players. That's not to say that being a reroll is a bad thing. I mean, how people choose to play the game is totally up to them. But new players do need some assistance in order to get the most from this game. Problem with new players is, when they're facing totally inept bots, they will really pick up some bad habits. The thing is, they will also pick up bad habits from watching some of the bigger YouTubers, oddly enough. Because generally speaking, you're watching very experienced players rolling out in tanks they've been playing for ages on maps that they know like the back of their hand and doing things that new players just aren't ready for just yet. That's not to say you can't pick up any hints or tips from YouTube videos, because you can. But before you decide to grab that shiny new premium tank or rush into that top tier with its big guns, try to learn some of the very basics first. Now look, it doesn't matter if you play the game for fun or if you're serious. The basics are literally that, or the basics. Even those who play the game for fun don't like to lose game after game. I mean, where's the fun in that? So those who don't take this game seriously still possibly like to improve, or at the very least, win. With that in mind, I want to look at a replay of me rolling out in a totally stock low tier tank, the M8A1, an American tier 4 TD. Now, the first thing you need to know is don't rush. Take your time. I know it's like a broken record. Don't YOLO, don't rush. Be patient, there's seven minutes. Use those seven minutes, blah, blah, blah. But seriously, that is vitally important. Don't rush. Secondly, take time to aim your shots. Guys, in the low tiers when you're learning, it's not about doing those snapshots. It's not about, you know, getting those insta-kills. You're not playing those type of tanks. You're playing tanks that, you know, generally dish out mediocre damage against tanks that generally have mediocre armor. So take your time. You've got time to do this. You've got time for that reticle to come down. Know your maps. Knowing the maps is vital because it tells you where you can take your tank, what you can do with the tank, etc., etc. More importantly, it's great to know the maps, but also know that mini map, that little thing in the bottom left hand corner. Get used to looking that at that regularly. Don't dismiss it, because dismissing it is gonna land you in a world of pain. 
That mini-map shows you everything you need to realistically know. It tells you where the enemy is and it tells you where your team is. Now I can see here on this mini-map, my team are quite forward, um, the enemy are all contained and I'm sat at the back here all alone, which suits me fine because I'm in a very lightly armoured tank with not the best of guns, not the best mobility because it is fully stock. I've not upgraded this tank at all. So you need to keep your eye on the minimap. Both teams here have lost three tanks. Be mindful of what your tank can do. Back out of danger. Don't sit in the open shooting tanks because it's not going to help your cause. It really isn't. Don't move until you've reloaded. Because, again, you're going to get smacked. It's as simple as that. And once you've fired, get back into cover. Don't be a hero. Because there's no reason to be a hero. Take your time. That is the main thing. Don't rush. Know the maps. Look at the minimap. And, above all, have fun. Because... Even when the team around you is collapsing, it doesn't really matter. You may lose, because you're going to lose some games. You focus on having fun. And I can see no fun in, 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 in losing every single game. I do see lots of fun in smacking the bejesus out of an enemy tank. Puts a smile on my face. It makes me giggle after all. So, for those newer players out there, resist that temptation to do what you've been doing against the bots. Resist that temptation to throw caution to the wind and just yolo hard and fast into the middle of a melee. You're going to die, you're not going to have fun, and you're going to lose credits and everything else. Chill, take your time, and trust me, over time you will enjoy the game. Anyway, I've been fooded. Just a quick message to all the new players out there. I hope it was good. I hope it was interesting. And I hope you learned something. Until the next time, guys, stay safe out there. And remember, it's just a game. So have fun and happy tanking. Because that's what it's all about. Having fun being happy.